out with you tonight at 10 with the show of support right now for the Rockwall Heath High School football coach. I'm Nicole Baker. I'm Doug Dunbar. Rockwall ISD coach John Harrell remains on administrative leave as of tonight, but some members of his team wanted to send a message to the school board this evening. Our Aaron Jones was there and takes us inside. I've watched him with all these kids. I mean, he's, he's probably one of the best coaches I've ever come across. He respects everybody. He, he loves everybody the same way, just like his own family. Gene Marsh and his son Tyler joining dozens of other members of the Rockwell Heath football team to ask school board members to keep head coach John Harrell on staff. Harrell is currently on administrative leave pending an investigation into an off-season workout where some players reported doing 400 push-ups in addition to other workouts. We aren't doing stuff right. So that part is really on us because we were messing up. It wasn't the coaches. Marsh says in total, he believes the team technically did 368 push-ups over the course of about an hour. Football is a full contact sport. It is brutal. It's just, the, it's, just, it's just just a brutal game. I think it's very important that we need to stress health versus just solely focusing on winning. Are we winning at what cost? Dr. Osahotwe Okoje says her son was one of several players hospitalized after the workout, having developed rhabdo. It's a condition that causes a breakdown of muscle tissue that releases a damaging protein into the blood. It can affect your kidneys, liver, and heart, and even have long-term complications. Rhabdomyolysis doesn't just fall from the sky. It's usually from overuse, you know, and it's not common. You know, when you have children that are harmed in this way to the severity that they were harmed, there, there has to be accountability. And in a new statement to CBS 11, Rockwall ISD says in part our serious concern for these students and their health led the district to pursue a third party investigation into the incident immediately. We know the investigation will take time and we await its completion. So at this point, we don't know exactly what the outcome will be. The Texas Department of Family Protective Services has also launched its own investigation. In Rockwall, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, we thank you so much for taking us inside.